didn't see you there. The mighty. And yes, the video is finally here. The video is finally here. The video everybody has been requesting. The live. There's a bell. The live video of me showing you guys my live trading station. My day trading trading station video is finally here. So many people have been requesting for this video. So many people have been DMing me for this video. So many people have been commenting on my YouTube videos for this video right here. And it's finally here. Pop the comment. I'm kidding. I don't know how to edit, so I'm not going to pop anything here. There's no time to edit. We're going to do this in one go. And whatever I do, whatever I show, that's what's safe. Welcome, everybody. I'm Mighty. My name is Marcelo. And today, I'm going to show you guys everything I use to day trade and everything I use to make the big bucks, okay? Um, as you can see, a little, it looks like, like a little bit of an intense setup. And, um, you know, there's a saying out there that says, the more monitors, the more money. Is that true? Of course it is. Look how many, how many monitors I have. That's a joke. That's not true. There's a lot of people that make more money than I could ever imagine to make off of a laptop screen. Um, having said that though, I really like to reinvest my money. And um, if I, if I, you know, if I like my charts to be a little bigger, if I have, if I like to have multiple level twos on, if I, if I like to have multiple time frames, I figure why not, why not reinvest some of the profits I'm making into my day of, off of my day trading and get more monitors. Maybe six monitors, a little too much, but just with this right here, I can watch four stocks at a time, have multiple time frames on both on, on, on all those stocks. And um, you know, this is my little setup. It didn't, it did not start like this. I actually could, you know, now that I think it, now that I think of it, I have a bunch of pictures in which I have the, 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 um, the progress of my setups. I could actually share those videos at the, share, share those pictures at the end. Because, you know, first of all, I started with my laptop, just the one laptop. Then I had my laptop and my iPad. Then I bought my first monitor. So it was my laptop, my first monitor, an iPad. Then I bought another monitor, two monitors, my laptop in the middle. Then I bought three monitors, three monitors and the laptop underneath. And now I got fancy with it and I put a monitor up there with a, with a monitor stand. As you can see, everything is powered right here with just one laptop. Everything that I'm using here right now is going to be linked down in the description. So if you guys want to check out what, I, what the hell I'm using, I'm going to link it down below. But this is a Lenovo Legion, Lenovo Legion laptop, Legion Legion 7i, I believe. 7i, a pretty expensive laptop, but you know, when I was shopping for my day trading laptop, this is not the trading laptop I was using when I turned the corner. I turned the corner with a cheaper, it still was a Lenovo laptop, but it was a gaming, older Lenovo la laptop. Um, I believe it had 16 RAMs of, of gig, 15 gigs of RAM. It had um, Intel Core i7 and a GTX card 1680. You know, that one was good enough to, to, you know, have two monitors up, full of charts, full of everything, no lag. But then once you start adding some monitors, you really need that RAM. So then I updated to this one. This is a 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and I don't know, whatever other specs, fancy specs, I'm gonna leave them on the description at the bottom. And then everything you see here is connected to this. I'm gonna do a close up. I'm gonna grab the camera and do a close up, but I just wanna finish the intro. Um, but everything's connected to this. I have this. The thing that I love about this laptop is like it's literally like a portable desktop. It has so many ports in the back of it. It had like three USB Type C's, one HDMI, three USB, um, three normal USBs. It has internet port, another another Type C USB on this side that I'm not even using. It has so many ports on the back, which is why I'm able to use so many monitors on that one laptop. But yeah, everything is connected to this. There's no desktop underneath the desk. There's no another laptop firing up this monitor or anything. Everything is connected to this. And um, so, you know, and when I have to travel, I just take the laptop with me. And I usually ha I have a portable monitor, monitor as well. So that's why that's what I would use if I want to travel. Um, but here it is. This is the this is the setup. All right. So let's now let's get close. Let's get in deep. And um, let's take a look. By the way, I'm a one-man show, Jesus Christ. So, um, you know, you gotta, bear, you gotta bear with this quality of video. All right, so let's take a look. This is the close-up of, of the setup. All the monitors, all, all of everything. Now, let's dive in deep. By the way, I'm finishing the day up. 
fourteen hundred dollars on the day. Hopefully this thing is on focus. Focus. Is it on focus? There you go. Um, so nice, nice green day here for me on Wednesday. But um, in any case, that's that's not what it matters. Let's get right here into the details. As I said, this is just a Legio Lo Le Lenovo Legio laptop. And as you can see, all my hotkeys down there are labeled. These are the hotkeys I'm using to day trade. Shift A, bailout, buy in hotkey market, 1.5K, 2K, 2.7K, 3.5K, 4K, 6K, whenever Mighty wants to get loose and I want to take those big share size. I use those buttons to buy. And then usually my pinky is always resting on the shift button. And then, you know, and then my other hand is on the buy hotkey. So I, I usually buy with my right hand and then I'll, I'll, do, I'll be doing all my selling with the left hand. All these three buttons, I'll sell the bid, sell full bid, sell half bid, sell a quarter bid. If I go up top, sell the ask, sell half ask, sell a quarter ask. And then this is all I use to day trade. Sometimes if I'm having a little bit of an issue, I use my mouse. It's a, you know, like a $30 mouse, <clears throat> Logitech cable mouse. Um, if, I ever, if I ever have any issues with my hotkeys, I just I start clicking the hot buttons, sell market by market. Um, that's usually a good way to do it. And um, yeah, that's the mouse, that's the laptop. These are the specs of the laptop. Um, actually, this is a Ryzen one, but it's the equivalent of the 7i. Um, it's a core, it's the equivalent of the Intel Core i9, but, but um, it's a Ryzen model. So Ryzen 9, whatever the hell. Look at that. That's, that's where all the magic happens. This is a charger, one USB, HDMI, another USB, another USB, Type-C, another Type-C. And then this is how I managed to plug everything, you know, so that it can, so that it can, so that I, so that I'm able to see multiple stocks at the same time. All right, let's get into um, a little bit of the Tinkerswim setup. By the way, this camera right here is a webcam, so I don't even know what I'm, what I'm recording because there's not the webcam doesn't have like a small screen that allows me to see what the hell I'm recording. So I'm hopefully. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm hopefully actually recording the stuff I want to. Um, as you can see, you're not a good day trader if you, if you don't have stickies all around your monitors with your rules, with you know some some flaws on your trading that you need to improve upon. This and that. Um, I was eating some grapes earlier. That's why that bowl's there. Um, we got baby mighty right here, just chilling. And um, of course, a sticky covering my PNL because when you are trading when you're in the zone you really don't want to be focusing on your PNL you don't want to be focusing on trading your the numbers on the screen you should you just want to be focusing on trading the best and leaving the rest and that's the way I like to do it so I just cover my PNL and then there's none of that um, let's take a look at the back end of this as you can see it's a mess back there um, I have a couple of monitor stands just like this one right here all of them are standing in a monitor stand like that one and then the one that's supporting this one is obviously a bigger monitor stand um, all of them i bought them off of amazon they're just cheap normal monitor stands the most expensive thing right here is this thing this piece cost me like four thousand dollars canadian dollars um which is i don't know three thousand us thirty three hundred us which is kind of like similar to the price of the falcon trading trading laptops but at the end of the day, the Falcon laptops look, hor look horrible. They're like a giant, horrible brick. They, they're literally like a portable, they're, they're literally like a desktop in a laptop body. And I'm like, if I'm already going to spend so much money on a laptop, I might as well buy something that looks good, all right? This is clean, thinner, more easy to carry. And um, I just like it a lot. So I would, would definitely recommend it. Is it something that you need to turn the corner? Nope. Um, I, I, I didn't use that to turn the corner. In fact, you know, you don't need any monitors, any monitors to turn the corner. This is not going to make you a better trader. It's just something that it's cool to have once you're in the other side, once you have money to reinvest into a better office. Now, what the hell is in the wall? Let's take a look. My, these are the rules. I'm going to find a, these are my old rules. Um, I don't use these rules anymore. As you can see, 150 max loss. You know, Mighty right now is making 150 per trade. 
you know, not even that, maybe 150 per per second. I don't know. That those are the old trades, but I'm swear to God, I'm going to buy a um, a frame and frame that thing forever because those are the trades I were using when I turned the corner. Just follow the rules, no questions asked. You can't think clear on the hot seat. Just follow the rules, play the game, and play by the rules. Mighty attitude all the time. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Um, we got the Virgin Mary right there. I'm a very, ca I'm a very religious person, and I believe that um, Virgin Mary and God had blessed me along the way and had, you know, had a huge impact in my trading career. That's gonna be always up there. As you probably can tell in my other videos, I, I always have a Virgin in my background as well. A Virgin Mary. Um, anyways, setups. These are the setups. I don't, I don't, this, you know, these are the setups I used to look at when I was about to trade. Because when I was learning and when I was a beginner, I'm like, you know, I really want to, I really want to have something in my wall so that I can compare whatever the hell I'm seeing live in the charts to what I believe to be an A quality setup. Right now, I really, I already know what a quality, A quality setup looks like, so I don't need to look at pictures of the wall. But before, these were my best setups and what I usually love to trade the most. Let's take a look. So we have first high of day micro pullback wedge, a wedge pattern. We have a red to green right at the open where the stock sells off. You find support somewhere and then it curls and rips the pre-market highs. We have a short covering one minute pullback. Okay, so when this is a pattern that if a leading gap is fading, it usually gives a little bit of a pop at the open because people that are riding the way down pre-market are, are taking profits at the open, which creates buying volume. Buying volume is a little bit of a surge, which, which is an opportunity for a scalp. One minute pullback, classic entry. We have a little bit of a curl pattern. You know, just the just patterns you already know. ABCD patterns, cup and handles, half and hold over breakers, flat top breakouts, and um, you know, you name it. And um, what else? What else, what else, what else? Um, we got some Pokemon cards right there. We got a whiteboard that I never use. And yeah, I'm using something. Got the laptop, got the monitors, got the software. I use TD Ameritrade to trade. Um, um, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's gonna do it for the video, fellas. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me into another mighty video, into another mighty um, walkthrough, whatever the hell this was. Um, I'm sorry again for the quality of the video. I know that probably the camera is shaking all over the place. I know that probably I missed some shots, but you know, right now I'm a one man show and um, I'm trying to do my best here. So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the setup. Again, you don't need this to become profitable. This is not what is going to make you a profitable trader. You don't need a fancy laptop to become a profitable trader either. You just need something. You just need maybe two monitors. Or, you know, you don't need. You don't even need two monitors. But at least I would recommend two monitors, a laptop or a desktop with at least 16 gram, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a decent graphics card, and that's all you need. Yes, you might not be able to pull so many charts up, and look at a bunch of stock at the same time, but. At the end of the day, you should be dialed in on only one stock and on only one name. So, um, so yeah, you don't need this to trade at all, but this is a little bit of my day trading profits investment. Um, and um, yeah, let me see if I can find the pictures of my, of how my trading station evolved. Okay, I found them. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, how, um, how uh, how rough this video is, but this is raw. This is raw stuff. I'm I'm literally gonna show you the, the pictures of of on my phone. I'm not gonna edit anything, you know. So here we go. These are these are these are this is how my um my setup used to look like. Take a look. Boom. OG setup, one laptop and the iPad. Then it evolved. I got a monitor. Wow, mighty getting getting dicey. Obviously, I was going deeper into the red in my trading career. Let this thing on and focus. But um, you know, got a laptop. Then 
boom, we got a keyboard and I also got a laptop stand. And then this one was when I got three monitors. Damn, I'm sorry about that quality. And now, Mighty got the entire thing going. Right, traders? Oh my god, I don't even know if I want to pull this. <laughs> Me holding this camera and looking like a retard. You know what? In the Mighty channel, we were raw, and everything that we record, we're going to upload. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. In the future, you know, whenever I get a cameraman or something, I'm gonna upload, upload a better video, higher quality video. Hopefully, I'm gonna have more monitors by then. Not that I need them, maybe not. But I'm, I'm probably, whenever I move to somewhere and have a nice office, right now I'm, I'm literally trading out of my room. My bed is right there, which you don't wanna see. So whenever I have a full office, day trading office, that's when the higher quality setup video is gonna come. But for now, this is going to do. It's been mighty. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, always show up, always fight with all your might. Like that line right there. Because the only thing, the only one that, that actually is going to believe in you is yourself. So you got to push. You got to be consistent. You, you got to show up. And you have to get a little better every single day. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, your odds of success are going to go so much higher. This is the game of consistency, of being stubborn, of being you know, having a crazy willingness to show up every day after losing every day, every week, every month. But um, you have to keep fighting. Fight with all your might. Don't give up because it's just too hard. Don't give up because it's, you know, because there's so much stuff to learn. Really give it a shot. Give it your best shot. Make, stack the probabilities of, of you making it on your favor by doing your homework, by doing the due diligence, by just trading the best and leaving the rest, and by journaling and tracking every single trade you take. That's what I did, and look at me right now, I'm living the dream. Alright fellas, take it easy, it's been mighty. Adios.